You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES 2014. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. Excitement abounds. CES Live, John. Oh, is that how it's supposed to be said? Live! I think so, it's exciting! I'm not as animated as the Mexican uh, sports announcers. I'm an animated GIF right Goal. now. Goal! Speaking of goals, or home runs, one or the other, <laughs> we've actually got Alex here from Wagan. How are you doing? Good, yourself? Fantastic. Hey, you happy know, New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year happy to you. New Year. First of all, how has the show been treating it's you? It's been good. Great traffic, and we got some great uh, you know, excitement about this product that we'll Excellent. talk about. Yeah, good. You, one or two people have stopped by the booth. Yeah, <laughs> maybe one and a half people. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> one and a half thousand people, probably more like it. Well, yeah. I, I, I got to tell a little bit of a backstory first okay. because uh, we were, when we were getting started with all our stuff the other day, you came over okay. and you brought one yeah. of these units. We're going to talk about it in a minute, okay. but you brought one of these over and you said, yep. hey, you brought, you brought us a couple of them. You said, yep. hey, just wanted to drop these off in case you want to give it a try. Yep. And uh, which is always very nice because if we get to test things out, mm -hmm. we can vet what you're saying okay. and then vouch for it. So I will tell you, mm -hmm. as you saw when you came yeah. up, yep. we had this installed back here. Yep. We're going to talk about it in a minute. We had it installed. We have been using and abusing it the mm -hmm. last four days. Very cool. Like 20 people very plugging cool. in and out. It has been performing flawlessly. Very cool. So let's tell people what it is. OK. <laughs> so this is the Wagon Tech Quad Power USB Hub. Basically, what we did was you, you know, we took the idea from our families. You know, we do a lot of road tripping, and you know, you guys drove all the way over from Texas, and you need to power all your devices, not just you know one or two, and trying to fight for the USB plug, <laughs> yeah. but you yes. need to charge all your iPads. So that's really where the idea came from. So basically, uh, the Quad Power USB Hub is for your car. You get four ports of USB power all the way across: 2.4, 2.4, 2.4, 2.4. It's the most powerful USB charger in the marketplace. And that's important. Four iPads at once. Well, that's important because a lot of people will get a USB adapter for the car, plug in their iPad, and get a screen of misery and despair. <laughs> they just will not charge. And they don't realize that it's yeah. hard to get that much power into those yep. devices. Yes. And so, you know, I have kids, we take road trips, and really, you know, we want to keep them entertained. And most importantly, you got to keep them powered. Yep. And so either your recreation, you know, with family, or even workplace, like you guys, you know, this will work perfectly for them. So one thing that uh, you know you alluded to, yep. and, and I'm not sure if people fully can appreciate this because you're talking about road trips in the car, yeah. and you're talking about a four point four port two point four yep. amp output. Yes. yes. The only place people have seen these are on desktops. Yes. And yeah. I said we were using yeah. it here. Yeah. Because we do indeed have it yep. plugged in here. Yep. But what you're talking about is a device that will plug into a cigarette lighter yes, adapter exactly. yes. and convert that into four 2.4 yes. amps. And we're coming out with one in a couple months that you could actually get the house adapter as well that plugs right behind that like you guys were using. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we had the super secret yes, prototype. Yes, you guys had the early version. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Spoilers, John. Oh, oh, oh. But that's you know, I've been in situations yep. where two of us have had our iPhones yes. powering down, or the kids were having their yep. their gaming devices, which were keeping them blissfully entertained and not yelling at us in the back seat, yep. powering down, mm -hmm. and then had to try to figure out, okay, we can charge yours, mine will yep. go dead, yep. we'll get the kids on here, maybe get them two more minutes of play time. <laughs> this is no compromises. You have four seats in your car, four <laughs> devices are plugged in. Exactly. And so we really you know, took the idea uh, and to the next level. We actually have mounting feet on the bottom. Nice. So let's say you want a clean install with your car. You don't want to just leave it out hanging. You could actually mount it right under the dash and you got four ports just like you would you know, in your vehicle. Let's show, let, yeah. let's show that again. So yeah. the, these little things are like little. Yeah. So these they, fold they're out. Probably, they're probably in real tight. Yeah, they're really, yeah, yeah they're, they're pretty in, tight. But, but you loosen that screw yep. and then you just yep. slide. It's like a little wing or something. You yep. slide that out and then yep. you have uh, you screw mount through that top hole there, right? Yes, yes. So you can screw this in and permanently mount yep. it basically in your car. Or we do include the Velcro straps, Velcro uh, strips as well. Oh, okay. And so you, you know, if you're just leasing a car, you don't have to, you know, Put damage holes. your car. Yes, unless you want to. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so it also has an on-off switch, you know, for flexibility. 
And as you guys know, it's got CBL technology built in, which is the cool blue lights. Uh, nice. <laughs> CBL technology. <Yes. laughs> Another three word acronym for me, John. I got LECD, LED. Don't get me all confused, track. okay? Okay, so. CBL. CBL. You could also have a CRL, I guess. And, oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Cool red light. <laughs> yes. Nice. So, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, are these available right now for people to buy? Yes, they are. So you could actually buy these online, different places, either B&H &H or Amazon or whatnot. Okay. Um, and Is there a model number that they need yes. to look it up on? So look it up um, under 2892. Two eight, yeah, somebody, uh, one of you guys in the chat room, would you uh, look that up on Amazon? Okay, Amazon? And any sort of Google search will pull up all the you know different options that you have at, as well. And what do they retail for? Retails anywhere from the light version, so we have a 6.8 for people who want a little bit more value. So that's like two yeah. iPads and two phones. Exactly. Two, point, two times 2.4 and two times one Once. amp? Yep. Okay. And then so basically. Screw that people, don't do that. <laughs> more power. <laughs> more. You need all four 2.4. But if they didn't need all four, how yes. much would that one cost? This one retails, <laughs> MSRP is 24.90. 24.90. Yep, and this is 34.90. People do not skimp on the ten bucks. Yeah. Okay, I mean you get four. <laughs> One day you will have four iPads, and yeah. you, will, yes. you will say there's no money in the world that can charge these right now. And exactly, like to your point, this is more the future-proof version. Yeah. And you know you could plug any anything into here, you know, just the same speed as you get from your house. Look for yeah. thirty-five bucks. Yep. You sh there's no reason to not get it for thirty-five yep. bucks. Okay. Yeah. Now. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. So you, you said that eventually we're going to have the ability to maybe get the home yes, charger the home for yeah. it as well. Yeah. Because I think, you know, one thing is you could permanently mount this in a mm -hmm. car, but personally, mm -hmm. you know, maybe the family wants to take a trip sometimes yeah, in a yeah, van, yeah. sometimes yep. in a car. Yep. You might want to move it around with you, yep. uh, but then you might want to take it in the house. Or you could buy two. You <laughs> could. You could just <laughs> buy two. I like your solution. <laughs> yes, I like that. But, but can, will we be able to buy a power adapter for it separately? Yeah. You just can the, buy it kind of off the shelf. You just need a six amp adapter, six, six amp DC adapter. Six amp DC. Yeah. You kind of do the math on the you know electrical side. Yeah. Like basically a six amp DC adapter. Okay. And you're set. It's a pro tip. Okay. Yep. Nice. Yep. Any other goodies that you guys have been showing yeah. off or what we should talk about? So basically what we're doing is we're launching a whole line of travel charge products. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we live in a USB powered world. We really and do. everything from your cell phone, from your you know well, smartphone, right, uh, Android, Apple, whatever, to tablets, we really need all that uh, that power. And so yeah. basically, we designed it from the ground up, uh, anywhere from small USB powered, uh, from you know what's you know, the companion go there. Yes, companion go. It's got DC ports. You we still have DC ports needed, mm -hmm. you know, for your GPS and whatnot in your car, uh -huh. and all the way up to you know basically the companion go plus two which has two DCs and two USBs. Nice. Okay, and then all the way up, of course, into the Travel Charge Quad Power Hub Series. Uh, what's nice It's a pass-through cigarette yes. lighter adapter. And also it has a little hub in the middle yeah. that you could also plug in different devices. I want to ask you about something else. Yes. So th these are all great, and these mm -hmm. are very, very badly needed yes. in the marketplace. Yeah. Did I see somewhere in y'all's stuff that you had some kind of giant solar charging we do. Big mother <laughs> yes. of a, okay, yeah. oh my God, it had yes. like solar panels yep. all over yep. it. What the heck was that thing I saw? That was the Solar E Power Cube. And so the Solar E Power Cube was basically, it came up from the idea that solar systems are really a pain to use. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, you could go to the store, buy a kit, but you're, you get home, most, most of you guys are fine with it, with the, you know, wiring and whatnot, but most consumers, they don't know what you know what to do with even all the Even if I want to, it, even if I can, it doesn't mean I want to. Exactly, I exactly. want an all-in-one contained yeah. kit, you exactly. know? Exactly, and so basically, we put solar panels on there, and a battery, an inverter, everything built into one, and on with a nice luggage handle, take it wherever you want to go. Roll it out to yep. the park, set yep. it up. Yep. Uh, tell me a few things. Yes. One, how much does that thing cost? Two, how yep. much power does it generate <laughs> okay. and store, okay. you know? Get, what, what was the deal with that one? So we have two flavors on the solar cube. I want the biggest one. Okay. <laughs> the biggest one is 1,500 watts of AC power. Sweet. It's got a 1,000 wow. amp hour battery in there, and basically you can draw pretty much anything from the unit. It retails about $14.99, and street price you know, varies, of uh -huh. course. Uh, and 80 watts of solar panel, 1,500 watts of AC power. And that, the, the, the the big mother, <laughs> the big guy, which which we call the uh, Cube Plus, uh -huh. 
has, let's see, it can run your refrigerator up to eight hours continuous with it. Wow, and it yeah. could, so it could obviously run a microwave, right? Yes, yeah. yes, microwave. So, so Dave, you could, yeah. you could go out there and put, have your Hot Pockets in the- 7-Eleven uh, burrito heaven. Hot Pockets <laughs> in, the, in the park. Yeah, and so you know, we, we designed it really idea of ease of use, as well as really for uh, you know, hurricane season. Well, the nice thing yeah. about those is, you know, we actually went to go do a, uh, we were testing some products and mm -hmm. we went to a park. Mm -hmm. We took uh, th these little Samson speakers and yep. a projector and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we had to go out there and power them in a park. Yeah. Well, your option is a gas generator, which yeah. is loud as hell. Yeah. Yeah. And we're trying to put on a movie in the yes. park. Yes. That didn't work very well. Exactly. Okay, so one of those, yeah. that would be awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so but you said there was a smaller version There's a too? smaller version. It's the same form factor, but it's a smaller battery. So most of the weight really comes from the okay. battery. And the original idea was basically having a smaller battery because we didn't want to break 100 pounds. So the smaller, the Q, the solar e power cube uh, ha is about 80 pounds. Okay. Now the cube plus is 120 pounds. Now I want the cube yeah, triple right. plus. <laughs> <laughs> you want all the power, John? <laughs> can I get those on Amazon? Yes, is you that can get it on Amazon. Travel charge quad power. Is yes. That yeah, oh wait, the that's one. the other. That's yeah, the, that's, that's, one. Yeah, that's this one. Okay, but yeah. I could get the big, big battery mother yep. on Amazon. Yeah. Amazon, Home Depot, oh. a lot of different places. You can have it tomorrow with Prime, John. Uh, I want to talk to you about getting okay. one for review, if oh, possible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I would yeah. love to we'll get you one. take one out and we'll like do. review that thing we'll all over the place. Okay, okay guys, uh, good stuff. What can I say? Check it out, but don't go anywhere. Like, nope. check it out in about an hour. In a second don't go window. right now because. Command tab, check it out. That's right, second window. We got more live stuff coming from you here from CES. Stick around. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. Be right back.